Hello, Shifte. I hope you're doing amazing. In just one hour, we are going to light the Chanukiah for the first time this year, bringing Chanukah, the light, the, the radiance of the, of the menorah to our families, to the streets of Ra'anana. Very exciting. I want to share with you a quick idea on the nace of Chanukah. This is an idea that I studied today from Rav Rimon's new Sefer on Chanukah, and I wanted to share it with you. We know there's a miracle of the Pach Shem in the Gemar Masechet Shabbat. Daf Kaf Aleph tells us that the Chashmonaim were searching around looking for uh, some, some pure oil to use to light the menorah. And after searching all this time, they found one Pach Shemen that was sealed specifically with the seal of the Kohen Gadol. It wasn't sealed by the person who was generally responsible for oil in the Ben Amigdash. It was the seal of the Kohen Gadol. What is the significance of this? And Rav Imon explains the name of the Maharal that the Pach Shemen represents the Neshama of every Jew, the Kedusha inherent in every Jew. The Yivanim tried to destroy the Torah, to eradicate the Torah from our lives. The Yivanim tried to tell us that there's no this idea of Jewish chosenness, of Kedushat Yisrael. It doesn't exist. Everything, everyone's the same. Everything's universal. There's no such thing as holiness in the world. That's what they tried to do. And they almost succeeded. But just at the end, they failed. Why? Because in the end of the day, every Jew has a nitzot of kedusha, has a chelek eloka mea. We have a neshama, we have a tzelem elokim, which is holy, which is untouchable. The Yivanim couldn't taint this, no matter how hard they tried. And this is represented by the pach shemen, which was hidden deep in the inner recesses of the Beit Hamikdash and sealed by the kohen gadol, who represents kedusha itself. What's the message here, Rabbutai? A Jew is never lost. You know why a Jew is never lost? Because all they need to do is look in. All we need to do is look in to see that we can connect to Hashem if we really want to. A Jew, no matter how off the path or, or no matter how off the derech a person is, we could always come close. Because inherently, inside of us, we have Kedushat Yisrael. We have the ability to connect. And that light, that Pach Shemen, it just needs a little bit of fuel. It just needs a little bit of Ruach and spirit and light and Torah. And it could, it could turn into a beautiful torch filled with light that illuminates everything around it. Rabbi this Chag, let's take that flame, that Pach Shemen that we have inside of us. Let's light it. Let's give it some fuel. Let's give it some Chiyut, some Ruach, some light. And Bezrat Hashem, we should have a beautiful Chag filled with Simcha, with Torah, Behalel uvehoda. Please God, this is going to be the last Chag that we experience with all of this COVID craziness. And um, wishing you and your families a beautiful Chag. Kol Tuv Chag Zamech.